Okay. Hello class, welcome to yet another lesson of ours. Um, this is your teacher, teacher Larry O'Neill, and welcome to our YouTube channel, the Christians Calls Association Uganda. I uh, want to thank you for subscribing, for those who have subscribed. If you're a new member, uh, we ask you to subscribe and always be up to date with all the information we provide all lessons and we ask that you always come and attend we are here to serve you all right so today our topic is formulators a continuation of the formulators if you had not attended that lesson please also go on our list so on my list you'll be able to find um the first lesson on on formal letters, rather in formal letters, it will help you to understand this one as well. There is a good relationship since we are all types of letters. So still under this, we shall look at what these letters are, how they are written in terms of format, in terms of language, and also the different forms of formal letters. We shall be able to look at them under this. Okay. As we start, we will look at the key things. What should we focus on in this lesson? Let's look at for the format, for the components of the letter, how to apply the appropriate language, which will vary from the other one of formal informal letters. And then we shall look at the examples of kinds of formal letters. Okay, so formal letters. These are also known as business letters. They are serious compared to the informal letters in all aspects, for example, the format. We shall use the same paragraphing or indenting as in the informal letters, because in, in, um, paragraphing in English is the same. We advise always and recommend that we use only indented paragraphing. Okay, so key things to, uh, key things, to consider while handling, uh, while handling these letters. We need to be careful uh, while using the variety of sentences. We must apply both short and long sentences. We must be able to be concise. That is straight away going to the point. In this uh, kind of letter, we do not entertain greetings. So don't greet anyone. Straight away go to the point that has brought you. So the, the first paragraph is definitely going to be stating the reason for your letter. And do not use informal language in whatever way. We don't encourage slangs, we don't use any jargons, neither do we use shorthands. We encourage you to be polite. Even when it's a letter of complaint, you must be polite. Let us complain like civilized people, no abusing, no insults. Make sure it is straight, good English. And we also make sure that we, we use words which are humanitarian, you know, words that can maintain peace between you and all the other people. We should be clear and on point. Don't meander, don't go about, you know, dodging the point, hit the nail on the head. And then the idea should be expressed logically. For example, if you're writing a letter of complaint, straight away tell us why you're complaining then give us the account of how that incident happened in order from the beginning till the end that's what we call I, uh, the ideas being logical they're organized in a way that is um, understandable not omitting and then later on components of a formal letter what are these components of a formal letter every formal letter must contain the following aspects the writer's address or the sender's address. That is also written in the same way as you saw the one in the indent, I mean in the, in the informal, that is indenting. It's followed by a date written formally, the address's address or the receiver's address, which comes on the left-hand side. The first one is on the right-hand top corner. Then it is followed by a salutation, dear madam, dear who, it comes there. Then we have what we call the reference or reason for writing this letter. 
usually abbreviated as R capital and then E followed by colons. And then you straight away go to your introduction. Your introduction this time around, unlike the other introduction of greeting, is clearly stating what this, what, why you're writing. For example, I hereby apply for the post. That is your introduction. Straight away mentioning what the letter is about. So the introduction states exactly what the letter is about. And it's in line with the reason or a reference. Then you go to the main body, give an account. Who are you? How did you get to know about the job? You know, what kind of position you want and all that. So you give all those details in the main body. And then later on, you go down to the conclusion. You conclude and that will be later. So these are just orally. Now I want to show you the other practical aspect of it as we go. I have an example that we can use to illustrate. Okay, so after your conclusion, for example, I look forward to hearing from you, you go to what we call a complementary clause. After that, that complementary clause, like the other one here, we have two known complementary clauses as we shall see them down here. Either yours faithfully, which is used if you did not address the person by name. For example, if you say dear sir, your complementary clause will be yours faithfully. But if you used dear James or dear Opio, you will be able to say yours sincerely. That's what we mean by that complementary clause. That's how we shall be ending that letter. Definitely here we require a signature, an actual signature after the complementary clause. Not again your name in small letters, no. An actual signature we expect you to sign. I will illustrate how we sign. And then your name is written in capital letters. And then designation. That is usually either your, 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 your title, who are you? You're writing this letter under what capacity? Are you a member? Are you the chairperson? Are you the secretary? You put that below your name. Now, Mark, you all this is put on your right hand corner bottom right hand corner the entire this let me let me make sure i highlight this clearly that the entire i'm gonna close this just a minute the whole of this is put in the left hand and rather right hand right hand corner as i will illustrate later on all that is put in the right hand corner. We shall see that it is important because letters and other aspects of, of, of functional writing have different ways of signing off. So letters usually we see that we sign off on the right hand, the, the right hand corner, the bottom. We shall I will show you in our in our examples. Okay, so I've already explained to you what. What these others mean, that is used faithfully and used sincerely. I shall take an example and see later on. Okay, so kinds of formal letters. All these are different kinds that you can use later on. You have invitation letter, letter of recommendation, letter of complaint, letter of inquiry. So these letters, usually go as, 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 as for the meaning of these words. For example, an invitation letter is that letter which invites people to come for a function, for, for a gathering. So it usually calls people for the gathering. A recommendation to recommend is when you write a letter uh, giving someone, um, rather you standing in for someone with belief that you know how good they are. You know, for example, you recommend that maybe you know that I'm suitable for such and such a position. So most of these letters go by the name that is on them. For example, a motivation letter, order letter, all those are different. So we shall be practicing all this with time. Resignation letter, appreciation letter. I'll be able to teach you all of them one at a time. So please keep watching and keep following so that you don't miss out on 
any of this. Remember, these are practical aspects that we use in our day-to-day -day life. So many people out there do not know how to write letters. After senior four, someone struggles to write even an application for a job and he cannot remember. So don't be part of that, as I recommend you to learn early enough so that you're not left behind. So I have a sample question here that you have been recently promoted as the head of department for the English and Literature Department on Bero High School, of Bero High School. As a sign of gratitude, write a letter to the deputy head teacher for his choice of picking you as the head of the department. So here you're writing a letter of appreciation. That's what it means. You're showing your gratitude. So we shall write a letter of appreciation to this. So usually the questions dictate what letter you write. If it's in real life, the, the, the type of occasion dictates which type of letter you write. That's why I told you that when you have all these kinds, after learning the different kinds of letters, you will know when to write an appreciation letter, letter of application, letter of inquiry, all these are written at different intervals. So for now, I would recommend that you learn one at a time and then begin applying them depending on the occasion. So here, you're going to appreciate this deputy for picking you, maybe he recommended you. So when I look at what is here, definitely, my address, remember it is Bero High School, Bero High School. So that means that is my address. And it so happens that definitely I am also part of that school since the deputy picked me as the head of the department. So we shall use the same address. So Bero High School, PO Box 41, uh, Buenja, Buenja, Buenja. This was the debt. So the debt is only written under your address. So under the receiver's address, you don't add a date. So here we block. This is what we call blocking, putting everything in the same line. The receiver's address is blocked. This one is blocked. The receiver's address is recommended that it is blocked. That is the receiver's address. You can see comma, 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 full stop. The deputy head teacher, Bayo. High school, PO box, Mwanje, Dia Mungoma. So I decided to use his name, Priyaji, Dia Mungoma. Now, this down here is what we talked about. I hope you remember that this is the salutation, the, the Dia Mungoma is a salutation. After the salutation, remember our notes, we agreed that we shall go to the appreciation. Rather, we go to, just a minute. We go to the reason or the reference, R E, the E is small, R is capital. So you notice here that we do not use capital letters. Are we together? I mean, we don't write everything here in capital letters. Only the keywords, for example, the word bearer, the initial word is B. So that word, that the letter there, the B is the only letter we put in capital. The rest of bero is lower letters or small letters. The same with high school. So most people confuse them. Let's make sure that that is observed. So here it is advisable that we strictly use uh, capital letters where need to be. For example, appreciation. If you look at appreciation A as capital, this is not four, it's not very important. It's, 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 it's um, an auxiliary, it's just helping. It's an auxiliary verb. Then assistant, the A, 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 the A there is, is capital. So reappreciation, full stop, for assistance. That is all we need there. Then you go to the first paragraph. This is my first paragraph. Thank you for trusting me with the English and literature department here. I have straight away going to appreciate what he did for me. I have not greeted him. I have straight away gone to my point. Are we together? Having served the, the school for over seven years, I promise to keep the flag high over the horizon. 
I really appreciate your effort and your confidence in me. And I promise to do my best. Very simple letter, straight to the point. I am very sure that the, the deputy head teacher definitely will see that I am appreciating him. So let's avoid being bubble and all that, straight to the point, concise, clear, and then yours faithfully. This is now the complimentary clause. Remember, we're using yours faithfully because I said, dear Mungoma, I used the name of the person. So my signature is supposed to be here. So here I come on, here I come and sign. Are we together? That is my signature. My name, I am Commando Jonah, in brackets, Mr. It's good to is that other people call you Mr, not you calling yourself. And then my title is the head of department. Remember, I've been now picked. I'm now the head of department. You can add literature, English, language. That would be a good one. I hope you have learned something in this lesson. And I want to thank you once again for taking your time to learn with us. We appreciate, we don't take it for granted. And as I conclude, I want to remind you always to subscribe to our channel uh, and hit that like button. It will definitely make a difference. Thank you so much. I have a simple exercise here for us to try out. I hope this helps you to practice the next letter or your own appreciation letter. As the newly appointed religious leader of Buindi High School, write a letter of appreciation to the teacher and the head of the lecture, to the teachers and the head of the lecture commission of your school for having appointed you as the head of religious affairs in your school. You can submit the work into our Google Classroom. I'm going to attach um, all the necessary codes and uh, the links for the Google Classroom. Uh, in this assignment, you can definitely assume uh, Buendi will be your school. You can assume the location of Buendi High School. You can assume the PO box. So that one I leave to you to create so that you're able to create your own content in that line. I hope you have understood. Thank you so much for attending. God bless you and have a blessed day ahead of you.